Welcome to the Daily Challenge for October 19th, 2014. Let's begin. Well, that's a good beginning. Holy crap. Don't jinx it.
God damn it, those goblins are so hard to fight. Oh, that was a really damn good run though. Man, like the first thing that happened in like the entire run was basically to get a spear. That is a good sign. Like, you know you're probably gonna have a good run when one of the first things you find is a spear. It's like, oh, thank God, I love spears. And then I got that titanium longsword at like the perfect moment. Like you, you really want, uh, a dagger is perfectly fine for the first zone. 
up until the boss, and then for the boss you definitely want something that does at least has at least a range of two and does one damage. At least that. And then for the second zone, you really want something that does two damage. And then, if you're really lucky, you'll get something that does three damage for the third zone. That's kind of like the rough, kind of, what you generally want to have a pretty high chance of survivability in these different zones, and... Well, I got really lucky. With zone number one and zone number two. Not so much with zone number three, although in this case I didn't die because my weapon wasn't good enough, I died because the fucking goblins are... <laughs> Alright, let's see how we did. Wow, man, people did really good on this run. Yeah, I think that's the kind of difference it makes when you find a spear very early on. Like, it's uh, it's not just me that finds this game a hell of a lot easier when you have a long-range weapon. It's everybody else. But nonetheless, number 21, when it's about two hours after the daily challenge ticked over, is pretty damn good. Yeah, that was a damn good run. <laughs> There's somebody up there, uh... Number nine, Lumpy Lumps. Good job, Lumpy Lumps. I'm sorry the yellow armored skeleton killed you. Alright, that has been the daily challenge for October 19th, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.